New bonus week in GTA Online, we're going to look at some very fast methods this week which you can make a very nice amount of money. In this first method, we're going to go in our agency. If you don't have one, definitely consider getting one. We're going to go into the first tab which is security contracts and then the security contracts are hands down one of the best fast money methods in the game. Now currently at the time of this recording, they do have a bonus on them so it might not be as much for you. We're going to do this one which is going to give us a payout of $83,500 which is very good professional level is actually the easiest level you can get there's also specialist and then specialist plus is the hardest even if it doesn't have a bonus when you're doing it you're still going to be able to make up to i believe 70 or 70 something thousand dollars which is still very good although it could be as low as like 30 something thousand as well the good thing with these are you can either do them with friends or solo it's really up to personal preference if you are looking to do them with friends then you guys have to be in the same ceo in whatever session or in the same motorcycle club we're gonna go outside and let's see where we have to go make sure you have a efficient vehicle too i've said this before but something like an oppressor mark ii or mark one or a weaponized helicopter or a deluxo we have to go to the cargo ship which is going to be next to the airport my prediction is we're gonna need to take out some people i'm already locking on to some npcs find and eliminate the triad lieutenants okay and this is why it's good to have a weaponized flying vehicle like this all right we eliminated a lieutenant so that's one of them looks like there's multiple let's just have homing off and there we go that's another lieutenant down all right so now we just need to leave the area i'm guessing there were three total lieutenants to take out i'm not exactly sure but as we leave the area we should be done with this mission so in total, this took us like, I'm actually shocked it was that fast. So we made almost $85,000 in only a couple of minutes. He locked on to me, but didn't shoot. Shout out to that guy, right Twix, bro. I love Twix, thank you. Anyway, we made not too far off $100,000 in just a few minutes. That didn't take more than like three, four minutes, honestly. Very good money methods. Some are gonna take a little longer. Some are gonna be really, really short, as in a few minutes. Now we're gonna continue the trend of doing a quick money method like this which are also going to be connected to the agency you want to call up franklin if you don't have him as a contact you probably don't have an agency it would be a good idea to invest in one we're going to press on the second option which is requesting a payphone hit and after a little bit we should get a blue telephone icon on the map we just need to go to it to start up the mission and so this is going to have an assassination bonus which is very important to complete otherwise we're not going to make that much money we have to assassinate the target which is no surprise all right we have to go to this dirt track right under sandy shores airfield now the assassination bonus is use a scoped rifle to take out the target with a bulldozer now if for some reason you don't have any type of scoped rifle you can go to the backpack icon on the map and get one but i'm just gonna use a marksman rifle for this which is probably gonna be our best bet so here is the target and we have to find the bulldozer with a person in it we're gonna be on top of this hill and then there is a bulldozer with someone in it yeah so in this one we want to find the bulldozer bulldozer with someone actually driving it and once again we do want to use a marksman rifle we want to hover over them and wait till the target goes in front of the bulldozer and then once we shoot the driver you guys will see what happens let's hover over the driver there we go we executed that perfectly so assassination bonus complete it tells us that on the left hand side now we just need to leave the area and just like that, we made $85,000. If you don't do the assassination bonus, you only get $15,000 for actually taking out the target, which is not terrible, but it's not nearly as good. So try to get the assassination bonus with it. And once again, we got a very nice payout in only a couple of minutes. For the next one, the two requirements are to have a CEO office and a CEO vehicle warehouse. And we do need to become a CEO to actually see it as well. And so kind of like CEO cargo and hangar missions and bunker missions, we have to source the supplies and then sell them which in this case is going to be vehicles so there's three different types of vehicles there's i believe low range mid range and top range top range vehicles sells for the most so you do want to get a top range it is randomized which ones you get each time i have two mid ranges to sell which is not the best but not the worst so we'll just stick with it i guess we're gonna press on one of them whichever ones we want to export if you're just starting out that means you need to get the vehicle first and deliver it to the ceo warehouse or vehicle 
Digital Warehouse, I'll say. And there's three different types of cell missions you can do. The cheapest one, which you don't need to modify anything, and it's probably going to be a very close drop off. Middle one, which you need to spend some money, but then you're going to get more. So it's not actually going to be 43K. You're going to be making a profit of about 37,000. Here we got 62,000 minus 12,000. So we got 50K for this one, really. We're going to go for the most expensive and most difficult one. So first off, we need to put some customization options. We have to remove the tracker. We have to change the plate. As you can see, we just lost 12 and a half thousand on modifications, but now we're actually going to deliver this vehicle and we want to crash it as little as possible. So be careful while driving because the more you crash it and the more the vehicle gets destroyed, the less money you actually get at the end. So be careful. Try not to crash. And I believe NPCs are supposed to chase us too, which means we might get shot a little bit. Unfortunately, the drop off is going to be on the left side of the map. The total value of of the vehicle is just under 700k and we're gonna get a commission of 62k holy crap that was too close the fact i'm doing this in a public session is also not very smart so try to do this in an invite only i'm pretty sure you can complete them in there which is probably way less risky because if you get blown up i think you just lose the vehicle i'm not 100 percent sure for a top range we would probably get closer to a hundred thousand dollars for the most expensive type of delivery like this one drive it into the yellow circle we actually didn't crash it which is kind of surprising Usually I would mess up the whole vehicle while trying to do this, but oh, I guess we got more than it said 93 almost $94,000 so a very good payout right there. It's only a mid-range It's not even a top range vehicle now click the video on screen now if you want to see the cars that need a Benny's upgrade the most in GTA online I hope you all enjoy that video and peace